Today I'm going to show you how I take a unit strut, take some pieces of metal to build brackets, and the brackets bolt onto the unit strut like so to make a metal storage rack for inside my garage. Pick unit strut for a few different reasons. A, it's cheap, B, it comes in multiple different lengths, and C, it can be bought at like any local home improvement or electrical store. The other thing that's really nice about unit strut is when you build your brackets, the brackets can be positioned anywhere on the length of unit strut you use. You're not limited to like just certain positions. It is anywhere. So let's go ahead, start building all this stuff to get the metal cleaned up in my garage. So this is 2x2x8th two by two by wall square tubing. This will be the start of the actual brackets for the shelf. What I'm going to do is measure up like two and a half and cut a couple chunks of this off. I'm not going to bore you with the cutting of this because it's just like the Unistrut. Just cut out a 90 on my saw.
So here's some one inch square tubing, 14 gauge wall thickness. It's the last piece of the shelf bracket. It's kind of like the outright piece. I'm going to go ahead and cut them six and a half inches long and I'll cut a like two degree taper to it. That way when I put it up against the actual bracket piece and weld it, it'll have a little bit of an upward slant to it. I need to make one per every one of these. So I'm at the point now where I need to weld these parts together to make the brackets. But I want to build a fixture first to mount the parts in to make every single one the same. I'm going to have to build more of these down the road and I want them to be identical to the first batch that I make. So I went through my scrap bin, I found some bits and pieces that should work and now I just got to build a fixture. To me the most crucial point on building this fixture is just finding something that fits tight inside this channel piece here. Other than that, the lengths and this stuff really don't matter. So there it is, the fixture, the jig. They never have to be pretty as long as they hold the parts the same each time. That'll slide in, get clamped down, and then these lower pieces will go in like so. Done. Minus paint.
Here you go. Just make sure this channel nut sideways. It'll slide right inside that channel. And then when you start tightening it down, it'll automatically turn and stop. And then it grips on the thing, the Unistrut. And the nice thing about this, loosen it up, slide it up here. It can go anywhere, anywhere on the entire length of this channel. I got all my angle, I got my solid round bar, my flat bar, my round tube, my miscellaneous, my second miscellaneous, ordered in metal, aluminum. This is metal I get at a local yard, and this is cutoffs of either that place or work, and then my second shelf of cutoffs, and it's mainly square so nice being able to see everything that I got and the amount that I have. Thanks for watching and enjoy. <laughs>